Okay, guys and gals, so Paul here aboard Southern Estate, where I currently live full time. And today I want to talk about our, my captain's license, what it took to get my captain's license, and why I went with the school, where my head was at, and am I through the process, and what was the actual process of doing this. So the big thing was, first of all, was the commitment. Yeah, it's a big time commitment. And I was looking online, I was looking at all these online courses, and you know, they were like $4.99 to $6.99, $7.99, somewhere around there. I actually hit the button on one of them, and I said, ah, I'll sign up for it. Um, but then I was talking to some of the other captains in the marina here, and I go, uh, Jeff happened to catch me one day, and he says, Paul, the best thing to do to get your captain's license um, is to go to the school. Uh, you might think you can do it online and save a few hundred bucks, but in the end, uh, just go to the school. Uh, there's a lot of people, I, you know, you saw the interview with uh, Captain Casey a, a couple days ago, and Captain Casey even says, you know, that they got about a 10% uh, pass rate on that, because uh, to me, yeah, you'd have to be very smart. I did better in the classroom environment, and it, it, it just made more sense. Now, was it easy? No, it was... It was two weeks um, uh, of classes, and then uh, you have to walk, you have to you have to go through and look at all the, every subject, uh, all of it for uh, uh, I think there's four tests. Yeah, there's four tests that you have to take, um, and you got to be able to you got to look at all the information for all four, and then you can start testing, and then as you're testing there. You know, if, if you went with the school like we did and you have to go with a school that actually can let you take the test because if you do this online, you have to go to a Coast Guard facility, approved facility, and you have to, um, you have to go to a Coast Guard approved facility and then you just, just get in there and you just uh, take the test and you either pass it just like your CDL type thing. But at the school there, you know, they're, they're sitting there, you're able to read your information, You've highlighted all, all the stuff uh, that's going to be on the test pretty much. So then I was able to just go through there. He says, study this. And when you're ready to take the test, let me know. And then I would take the test. And if I ha actually uh, had a question, uh, like one, one I, can't, I just remember one time a question, especially on the plotting. That's where I had the, I had the roughest time. Um, and I had a question. And he, and he did come over and he just said, yeah, think about what you're, you're reading there. You know, he... And he didn't give me the answer, but he, he, he gave me, you know, he said, we remember this, how we went over this in the class, and you just take this point and this point. And so it helped me a lot, you know, and I, and I don't think I could have done it without him. I just, the, the schooling was, uh, it was huge. So, so, and then I don't think a lot of people realize it, but it's not just taking all these tests, neither. So I, I did, um, I got my six pack, 100 ton, so that technically I'm only allowed to have six passengers right now on a, a um, and a, the v vessel can be up to a hundred tons. Um, and then I've got my towing endorsement and then I, um, um, I haven't got my master's yet because I have to turn in all, I'll turn in all my paperwork. They'll tell me what I qualify for. And then there's one more class and one more test I can take and I'll either be a 50 ton or a hundred ton. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really affect me, uh, with the license, but then you also have to get this thing called a Twix card. Absolutely no drugs. So you can't have any CBDs in you. You can't have any drugs in you. Uh, you've got to be able to pass a drug test or you're not going to get your captain's license. It's, it's that simple because it's federal. And so federal doesn't recognize uh, 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 marijuana, even though it's legal in a lot of states. It's not legal and um, it, you can't have it in your bloodstream. If you have it in your bloodstream and you can't get past the, the drug test, you're not going to get your uh, you're not going to get your captain's license. And then they can randomly test you anytime you want. I think there's a couple different programs for this. For, for the drugs, uh, drug part of, about it, but you got to be able to pass a drug test. You got to get your Twix card, which is basically your um, fingerprinting and pictures and stuff like that. So you got to get your Twix card. There's a, and there's just a lot to it. And then I have to turn in all of my paperwork uh, to uh, somebody that's going to help me. I'm just going to pay the $50 and I have to uh, log all my sea time. You heard Captain Casey say, that you, you have to take your sea time and you can take it from when you're 16 years old on up. So it's, it's good, if you, especially if you're going to do your captain's license. I don't care what boat you're on, just keep start keeping track of your time. 
so that when you do do this that you have all of that logged pretty much and it's just a piece of paper and it's all you need is the documentation or this um the registration you don't have to own the boat uh, you just all you have to do is put put those put that information on there and that you don't not have to own the boat all you have to do is be a deckhand on the boat and and that qualifies for sea time so anyway i just wanted to share that with you it was you know it was not an easy experience it wasn't um a bad experience i'm glad i did it it was a uh, time consuming um it's still not over for me because i still do got i still personally got to go do my um physical which is i think that's in itself is like a 10 page physical they go through everything your eyes ears your flex flexibility weight everything so that that's the next one i gotta i gotta get through that so i gotta get good blood pressure i gotta every everything's gotta be perfect for me to get past that even so that's another little hurdle that I've got to get through, but I think I'll be all right with that. So, but there is quite a bit to it, uh, you know, and I'm glad it's over with. Uh, the hard part's over with. Now it's just doing the paperwork, turning it all in, and getting my license. So, anyway, remember, live life with no regret. You got any questions at all about it or the process or anything like that? You know, you can call me or talk to me. I'm, I, you know, I talk to anybody. So. Peace out. Remember, live life with no regret. I do. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. Bye.